Today we're going to be changing brushes in the F or the Flux F457 120 volt motor. So first thing we do is you need a Torx screwdriver. This is a T20. You have to take out six screws for the handle. Now I've already loosened them up to save them time. Once you remove the screws, lay the motor on its side and open up. And you'll see two wires coming out of the motor. Just note where they're attached to the switch and you pull those guys off. If you notice, there's only two tabs there, so when you put it back, that's where your wires go. So you can set that aside for now. Set it back up, Take your, use a T15 Torx bit, take your top cover off, be three screws there, slide your cover off. Next step is to take out the two motor covered bolts which is a T20 again. Just be careful if you use a a uh, drill or a cordless drill to take it all in and out. It's all plastic so you can't tighten it down too much. Once you get the bolts out, take your cover off, just fish the wires through the two holes and your cover's off. That's when you get to your brushes. To remove the brush, put your finger on the little tab that's on this spring and pull it back and hold it and then you could grab onto the wire and pull your worn brush out. Now this is a new motor, so it's not a worn brush. But once you have that out, don't let go of the spring because you can get your new brush and just slide it back in. Okay, once you slide the new brush back in there, then let your spring sit on the back of the brush then you can go in with your screwdriver here and remove the old brush wire and attach your new brush wire. Once you're done with this side, just repeat on the other side. Make sure, just remember, hold, your, hold the spring back because it's a pretty heavy duty spring and grab the wire and pull your brush out, the, old, the used brush, put in your new brush and attach it to your motor. Once that is done, both brushes are in place. What you need to do is put your motor cover back on. Now, one factor of the motor cover, if you could look inside, there's a flat spot right here. With the light in here, mm -hmm. you can't see. There's a flat spot. That mates up with the flat spot that's on the lower housing so it, it all slides because you'll crack the housing if you don't put it down the correct way so you just line up your flat spot with your flat spot on your motor cover put your wires up in there once your motor cover is halfway down grab your wires and stick them back out through the holes
This will allow you to put the motor back all the way down. Put your large screws back in. Just reverse the sequence on how you took it apart. top cover back on. Tighten them all the way down. And again, if you're using a uh, cordless drill or something like that. Be careful tightening everything down because it is plastic. Once that's done, bring your handle back over. Okay, here we go. We'll put this, put these back on and so we get a good picture of, there's two prongs there that you could put one each on. So you press it down so they don't come off and then make sure your wires are tucked inside put your handle back on I'm gonna put one screw on here so we could test it Show your switches off. Plug her in your outlet. Now, once you test it, let it run for a little bit to allow the brushes to seat. So. And once all the screws are tightened up, everything's ready to go. You're back in business.